topic I'm going to share with you all is the uh, economy of life science here in Korea. Everybody says COVID-19 now, but on top of COVID-19, I'd like to emphasize EMI era. It's a trillion man year. That means the United Nations expected that by the year 2050, the total number of people on the global, on the global is more than 10 billion people, and their expected lifespan is more than 100 years. So I multiply those two numbers, and it makes finally it makes uh, one trillion man year. So not only for the for the COVID-19 issues, but also the TMY issue. Uh, could be considered as the uh, next couple of decades of our economy in Korea and many other countries. The first slide I'd like to share is BC and AD. As you know well, uh, BC now considered before corona, and AD means after disease. So uh, in the era of BC, before corona, we had two big world wars. The first World War One. During that time, we had more than 30 million people who died or wounded. So after the war, the human beings prepared international organization. It's called the so-called League of Nations there in uh, Geneva in Switzerland. And the World War Two. We had more than 50 million people wounded or died. So after the war, the human beings also prepared another international organization, so-called United Nations, right? So those two world war is war against the human beings to human beings between different races, states, ideology or religions. They fight each other. So national defense was very important before Corona era. But nowadays we are facing another World War III. That's very different. Instead of human beings to human beings, we fight human beings against disease, like a virus or micro microorganisms or germs. So we have to prepare another organization, international organization, just like World War I and World War II. I'd like to call it New UN, so-called NUN, right? So that, that's why the NUN is required. It's the beginning of humanity together to fight against the microorganisms instead of human beings to human beings. So I'd like to call it New UN, probably headquartered here in Seoul. And also we need some cross-border incentives for the New UN establishing global joint response protocols related to, related to disease and also creating information exchange and rapid development and distribution of vaccine. Also establishing a new order of cooperation between countries through new UN. We, we have prepared joint response of humanity to human to new common enemies and expanding the shared openness of global healthcare information on top of international bio platforms, etc. Before I go further into the slide, I'd like to uh, make a small briefing on Korean economy. Our Korean economy started from 1973. The first tree that our government planted is the economy of heavy and chemical industry. So we, initi we initiate economy of the economy of heavy and chemical industries in 1973. It was quite successful. So we achieved 50% of our GDP from heavy and chemical industry. And also we created 30% of our employment. But 10 years later, 1983, we planted the second tree, another tree, the economy of information industry. Thanks to this second tree, we achieved 33% of our GDP in Korea. And also, as far as the trade surplus is concerned, 
ICT industry occupies more than 90%. But nowadays, we have new competitors like Japan and China and many other countries. So it's time, it's the right time to plant another, the third trees. So now we, are, we have to uh, cultivate the economy of life science on top of ICT and heavy and chemical industries. Our targeting of the era of life science is we have to create 33% of our GDP by 2030. And also recovering global leadership in medical, pharmaceutical, and food industry. In case of the second tree, the information industry, the total volume of international uh, economy is four trillion dollars. So out of four trillion dollars, our Korean economy occupies eight percent. So eight percent of this four trillion dollars, it makes Korean econ economy itself. But the life science economy, including medical, pharmaceutical, and food industry, the total volume throughout the world is 18 trillion US dollars. But we occupy less than 1%, exactly 0.8%. So our strategy is to increase this, uh, uh, this new economy from 0.8% to 8%, 10 times more bigger. So that's a new challenge to our economy. So I like I suggest it's the right time to open the door to an era of life science, which means healthcare, medicine, agriculture, fishery, and food. As you know well, two years ago, the World Economic Forum selected seven ways to transform the future of healthcare is described here in this slide, right? The first one is death will be optional. And the second the transformation could be biotech will be displaced and the relationship to the disease will be fundamentally changed. And the future of uh, medicines belongs to a smaller liberal niche. And previously unimaginable wealth will be created in here in this uh, life science. And also drugs are get smarter and life science will permeate most industries. Through these seven uh, uh, selected ways, uh, the World Economic Forum declared the biological centuries here. The first one they raised is uh, Death will be optional. The, transform the, the first transformation issue is the fact that even death will be optional. On this, in this regard, human lifespan is expected approximately 125 years by the year 2015. And the death, will, death of cell is due to genetic defects. So we are supposed to regenerate genetic defects with personal customizations. I personally don't want this like long lifespan. If, if we are uh, supposed to, if we are, you know, not healthy condition. That's why the second issue is following like this. Uh, biotech like armor will be displaced. Thanks to the information technology, Pharmaceutical technology will also change dramatically, like the computational biology and the distributed development. Supercomputing power makes us enable the groundbreaking experiment, experiment solutions available and shortening the verification period, period of new materials or vaccines or something like that. And also, distributed, distributed development can saving our time and money through worldwide collaboration through the distributed development process. And we don't need to fight directly against the disease. Knowing the genes reveals disease. If we know the status of the genes, we don't need to fight against the disease one by one. 
So gene information can be treated with self-editing without external sorting. So that's why native gene control is expected within, within the near future. And the future of medicine belongs to a smaller liberal organization. So far, 88% 88 of 121 blockbuster pharmaceuticals are accounted for by large pharmaceutical companies. But from now on, 25% be licensing from small to large pharmaceutical uh, companies thanks to the international collaboration. And 37% of MMA, small uh, pharmaceutical companies from large one, and 4% licensing from the university's technology. So the help of supercomputers and the benefits of distributed processing often the way to small multidisciplinary pharmaceutical companies. And big data analysis using AI reduces the search process for new drug candidates by one-fifth. And also, the great wealth creation is here in uh, life science. In ICT industry, we have only four companies that have more than trillion dollar market, like uh, Apple, Google, Microsoft, or Amazon. But new materials opening the health solutions immediately from the trillion dollar market. Same level as Apple, Amazon, or ICT field. The health economy, which accounts for 20% of the U.S. economy, is an attractive market. So from now on, it will be easy that we, have, we can predict 6 trillion air will be a biotech for healthcare and entrepreneurs. And also, the six topics that uh, World Economy Forum uh, it, uh, raised for the drugs will get smarter we can expect the emergence of customized medicine considering cell and gene information. The emergence of platforms such as stimulus respon responsive efficient drug delivery system and a decline in the cost of genetic analysis will give us access to personalized medicine. And the life, uh, life sciences also promote most other industries. For example, the development of the mining industry through the toxicological application and development of the environmental industry with biological degradability. And life science will serve as the driving force behind other related industries. Like these seven issues, the World Economic Forum declared biological century two years ago. So that's why I raised 10 major policies for the future of the Korean economy. As I mentioned earlier, our economy in Korea at this moment is very much dependent on ICT industry. But the total volume of ICT industries throughout the world is only $4 trillion out of $80 trillion. I mean, the total GDP of the 200 countries throughout the world makes $80 trillion. But ICT industry occupied only $4 trillion. But as I mentioned earlier, life science, including uh, medical, and the pharmaceutical, and food industry, they makes $18 trillion. So we have to cultivate those uh, life science economy in these three, uh, 10 major policies for the future of the Korean economy. I declared these 10 policies last year, April last year, by the, by the private think tank here in, in Korea, we call Yoshije. The first issue that I'm going to raise at the time was uh, the government should create a policy department to oversee biohealth and the agri-food sectors and bring together functions scattered across various departments. We have 25 government-funded in the National Research Institute in Dedham Complex. 
for each in the in the each research institute, they made some combination uh, with the two other uh, the, uh, national research institutes, and then we can make 300 uh, government-funded uh, collaboration projects. For example, chemical in the chemical research institute and uh, electric in the research institute. They can combine together to make some collaborative project like that. Thirty-five different government research institutes can uh, collaborate strongly together and then make three hundred collaborative uh, projects. And also, government should create a policy for the department of uh, you know, biohealth, agri food, and many other uh, sectors bring it together. And also, we need to create a data standardized data integration manual that integrates human genes, pharmaceuticals, and healthcare. Even though we, the Korean government have one of the largest uh, information in relate to healthcare and drugs or something like that, but most of them are not standardized at this moment. So we have to prepare a standardized data integration manual and then we, we transform those information in a standard manual and it could be a great uh, resources for the next decades of life science. And third one I'm, I'm going to raise is uh, the basis for microbiome research and the national support system should be reinforced. As you well, microbiome is another critical uh, issues to make human beings more healthier than ever. And the fourth one is uh, we should speed up the development of human-friendly agriculture and food products based on genetic data. In Korea, 70% of our food we import from other countries. So that means we are dependent, we are independent on uh, rice, uh, rice, uh, rice uh, crops. Other than rice, almost everything we can we have to import from other countries. That's why we have to prepare and uh, empathize human friendly agriculture and food product based on the genetic data, and we have to uh, make our food system as self sufficient basis. And we need to foster medical science. There's no well. Medical services concerned, Korea is number one throughout the world. But as far as the medical industry is concerned, we are the last one in OECD company. The, the, the reason why, 98% of our graduate students, of our medical students, they go directly to practice medicine, not medical science. Only 3% they contribute to medical science. So that's why I suggest we have increased more than 30% of our med uh, uh, medical students. And uh, 30 another 30% of our students, we, we have them, we make them to go medical science instead of practice medicine. So this government is, uh, now this government is accepting my ideas, and that process is, you know, uh, already uh, launched. Uh, the other one is we need to build an open pharmaceutical platform. We need to speed up the development of a giant grid computing system. But then, well, uh, new drugs are supposed to at least four to seven years to verify their capabilities. But uh, the Corona-19, uh, their uh, process only more, more or less than one year, right? The reason why is we utilize all of the resources, including you know, supercomputing power or some giant grid computing. So we have to prepare giant grid computing in Korea, and every pharmaceutical companies and many other research institutes share those facilities for the speed up of the development. And also, the individual should drastically increase their use of medical information by allowing the medical sectors to utilize their information. 
you know, the personal information at this moment is not viable for the uh, research institute. But if I excuse my ID, my information to utilize uh, the medical sectors, and then I can, uh, uh, I mean, they can use, use our medical information for the research, and then on the contrary, I can share the, the benefits of the research. And the government should establish a bank to handle the marine bio sectors and fishery food research institute uh, to secure uh, future food in Korea. Uh, more than 60% of our food, seafood, are not uh, from natural uh, seafood. It's uh, artificial or it's a uh, you know uh, fishery farm. They, uh, thanks to the fishery farm, we can acquire more than 6% of our food. So that's why we need uh, some marine bio or information tank or fishery food research issues for the secure for the future of the uh, food in Korea. And also, Korea will soon launch an agriculture and a forestry satellite and link it to the drone. Right? That's very uh, useful for the prediction prediction of our crops. Uh, in the, uh, even though the, the, the season is not, not uh, over. And also we should uh, seek industrial cooperation in connection with other countries like uh, South Africa or South America and South Asia. It is also important to preoccupy standards through the de development of medical information data integration protocols. So like that cooperation between different countries are more uh, important than ever. But still, but still, we have to uh, we have to overcome the big barrier, like uh, information protection regulation, something like that. So I'd like to raise these three uh, uh, topics for the deregulation of Korea. Korean society as a new access to personal information regulation. The first one is uh, respecting the right to self-determination of personal information. We have to allow people to decide whether to disclose their information or not. If so, we have to provide preferen uh, preferential benefits for information offering. And the second one is a rational and selective opening of telemedicine. Korea, even though our infrastructure is number one throughout the world, our regulation is not allowed to for the telemedicine. So I, I'd like to strongly suggest that some give priority to make to form major chronic disease. You know, chronic disease and not so urgent disease. Right? So that's why. The, the telemedicines are supposed to allow in those for chronic disease areas. But still, Korea is not allowed yet. And some, I suggest some isolated areas, such as island and some ocean vessels, if they have some patient, very urgent patient, we have to allow telemedicine service. But still, the regulation is not open yet. And third one is a leading response from a non-face-to-face society. You know, the Corona-19 society, Corona-19 uh, pandemic, uh, they push us to non-face-to-face uh, society. We are leading those uh, situation for the next decades of non-face-to-face society. So we have, we have platform, we have platform for non-face-to-face medical care and preoccupy and send out send and die those protocols. We are pursuing developed countries in related to industries, patents, and uh, regulations in this regard. So, Corona pandemic here in Korea is so far we are very successful. But as of today, you know, today we are our new patients are more than 500 people throughout the country, 
so it's getting worse and worse. It's a quite damaging to our economy. But on top of this challenge, we have to cultivate life science, including healthcare, medicine, and food. It's the economic axis, must be an economic axis that will lead the next, gen the next generation. And uh, also, as I mentioned earlier, the World Economic Forum, they declared two years ago, already they declared the you know, biological century. And very fortunately, our two previous trees are getting older and older. And that's why we need new trees for the fruits for the next decade. And the fruits must be a healthcare or life science related uh, new economy. So life science on top of the ICT capabilities is my slogan for the next decade of our uh, economy. As you know, well, I think ICT is not ICT industry anymore from now on. ICT is a vitamin for any other countries. Vitamin is very small dose, right? Very small dose of vitamin A makes our eyes brighter. Very small dose of vitamin D makes our skins more healthier. Like that, ICT is not ICT, it's not an industry anymore. ICT is a vitamin for any kind of a new industry. So the topic today I, uh, I raise is the life science on top of the ICT capability. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Food belly is there in Netherlands, right? 
The very territory of Netherlands is very small, only 40,000 square kilometers. Korea is 100,000 square kilometers, very small country, but uh, the, the worldwide famous uh, life science university there in, Singapore, uh, in uh, Netherlands, that's, a, that's called Wageningen University. So the Wageningen University initiated uh, four different agricultural universities. They combined together and make it a life science uh, industry. And uh, more than 1,500 research centers of the food, in, food company is gathered there. So like that, uh, we are supposed to concentrate and uh, collaborate with many other different industry, uh, technology industries. Very important. Thank you. Um, so before I move to the next question in the chat, I just want to confirm that anyone has a question in this audience? Okay, so then I can go from these online questions. Uh, this question is from Bo Kyung Yoon. Your ideas on how to enhance life science policy in Korea are very inspiring. Do you have any countries such as the USA or Israel? which you think are good examples for Korea to learn from and benchmark? Okay, okay. The second question I already answered uh, previously. As I mentioned, the, the Netherlands is very famous for uh, life science related. I mean, there are uh, more, more than 25 of their GDP is initiated from uh, life science. And uh, as, as you mentioned, the Israel. Uh, one of the top five uh, food festival or food uh, uh, food related events is there uh, is held there in Israel. As in what Israel, the 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 rainfall uh, is only four hundred millimeters throughout the year, right? But their uh, technology to change the seawater into fresh water is by far the best throughout the world. So one ton of seawater into fresh water, they need only 52 cents of electric power. 52 cents worth of electric power, that's enough, right? So like that, uh, the agricultural technology itself is not the biological technology itself. It's combined with many other technologies, like, uh, uh, desalination or some uh, climate industry or something like that. So uh, some uh, collaborative uh, relationship is very crucial for the uh, food industry and the life and the tree too. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Professor Yun. Okay, so then uh, since because the limited time slot, even though we had uh, tons of questions for you, but uh, we will find uh, the next opportunity. And it was very great to see you online. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.